Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day so far. So it seems that the Psyker class has won the poll this week, so I've been cooking, no pun intended, on a new revamped Psyker build that I once had the pleasure of showing you all a long time ago. For those that have been here for a while, you might remember my Warp Flame Prince build and enjoyed spreading Soul Blaze everywhere you went. Well, I wanted to bring that back with a familiar vibe once again, but with a little bit more support for the whole team. The main themes of this build that I was going for will be utilizing Soul Blaze to maintain our damage, our toughness, and overall survivability for everyone. Alright, let's begin, shall we? First up, I recommend using the Mark IV Dueling Sword as it has some of the best and easiest weapon combos for taking down any elites or ragers in our face. You'll want more damage against unyielding and carapist armored enemies, since this was going to be our bread and butter when it comes to taking on any crushers, maulers, or ragers. This weapon excels whenever you go into a fight with a charged heavy against any single target enemy, so Thrust is a great blessing choice as it makes it way easier to take on crushers after dodging and then applying a charged heavy hit to their weak spot. Thrust will increase your strength over the course of a couple seconds while you charge your heavy hits, and to help with gaining more damage, I went with a brand new blessing called Relentless Strikes. This applies more strength on repeated hits on the same target. This not only enhances our damage on our weapon, but also synergizes with the other blessing as well. Now that being said, you could use a blaze sword to substitute if you need to, but the dueling sword in my opinion is much more reliable for its speed and damage flow while in combat. But that's just my recommendation as you'll need something to take out bigger threats very quickly. I felt that the special action for the blaze sword just takes way too much time to charge and land when you could just heavy away with the dueling sword and take them all out in half the time. With our melee options out of the way, time to talk about the main weapon of the build, the Rift Haven Mark II Inferno Force Staff. My luck this week was horrible as I ended up spending over a million dockets in Brunt's Armory trying to roll a perfect Inferno Staff just so I can utilize the staff to its best ability. And sadly, the closest I got was a 62% damage staff, which at that point I was pretty satisfied as it was close enough to perfect for me, and I still needed funds to apply everything else I needed. That aside, let's talk about what we're going to use this for. As I said earlier, we can rely on our sword to take on most of the elites the game will throw at us, but flak enemies tend to be a problem at range, so we want more damage against them, and on top of that we want more range crit chance too. I'm sure some of you can already see where I'm going to go with this, but we want warp nexus to regulate more crit chance based off of our para levels, and to increase our strength here, we need blaze away. This will increase our overall damage by a ton because of our crit chance applying crit damage way more than usual. You can do decent damage to monstrosities with this, and to boot, you'll be the main crowd controller for your whole team. Anytime the horde pops out of a door, you can hold your charge and release building up stacks of blaze away extremely fast, and for anything rushing you, you can stagger with a normal cast. You'll want to try to cast it quickly so you don't lose any of your stacks in the process. I was experimenting with different curios this time as I felt building up tons of toughness wasn't really working for me, so instead, I opted for the higher health route. Over the course of the past two weeks, I've been running multiple games with this build and it's been a struggle maintaining my health over toughness since we can already regen a decent amount quite quickly. So on this character I have 3 max health curios with the following perks. I have toughness for each one so it balances out making it feel like I have a 4th curio with toughness. And I have resistance to gunners because I want to be flaming most of the time and not worrying about my toughness. Again, this is to help my toughness from going critically low in times of need. Since we want to be playing beside our allies a lot more, I took some toughness regen speed, and lastly, one of my curios also has a stamina regen for times that I need to play catch up, and that's it. But as usual, experiment with whatever you want regarding curios. I do recommend more toughness, however, and maybe some toughness regen speed when in range with teammates, at least so you can get some toughness and coherency. Next up is our talent tree. I really wanted to revamp my old build with this one, with more focus on using new blessings to help synergize really well with my damage buildup, as well as utilize Soul Blaze to be a main crowd controller for my whole team. But before we get into all that, let's talk about our defense a bit, since we want to play close with the team whenever possible. I decided that we can control that a bit better with Telekin Shield, as this throws down a shield for our teammates blocking any ranged attacks from entering, keeping them really close to us. We'll want our shield to last as long as possible, so with Telekin Dome, we can make that flat shield into the shape of a spear, lasting up to 25 seconds. Along with that, I took Sanctuary, which adds a toughness replenishment effect for myself and my allies. This will replenish 10% of my toughness each second, and when it drops, any allies caught inside will get 50% toughness damage reduction for 5 seconds. For even more defense, we have Kinetic Deflection. This will allow us to block attacks without using any of our stamina. This also allows us to rescue our teammates quite easily as it will replace our stamina until we're at critical levels in peril. Using this with the Dueling Sword has a huge advantage, allowing us to block way more than a few attacks while building a peril to swap to our staff for more crit chance. Soul Stealer was another talent that I really liked since we're going to be relying heavily on our staff for most fights. 
Each kill that we get will replenish 7.5% of our toughness instantly. And another talent that goes really well with this is Warp Expenditure. This talent allows our built up peril to replenish 2.5% of our toughness back with each 10% of our barrel generated. And lastly for our defensive talents, I chose Soul Drinker which comes in handy for two different reasons. One is that with each kill with Soul Blaze, we restore 5% of our toughness immediately. And on top of that, we also gain 5% more crit chance for 5 seconds. This is great for when the AI Director opens up the floodgates and the horde comes running in. Just charge up your staff, release the flames, and profit. Alright, onto our more offensive talents now starting with our Blitz ability Brain Rupture. This one should be pretty obvious, but we don't have any long range capabilities here. And this one gets easier once I talk about the Keystone abilities. But with this we can eliminate any range threat safely in our bubble and away from harm. While they're fighting in your bubble, try to let your teammates frontline in these moments as you look for threats and start popping heads. Along with this I took Kinetic Flare. This will just make taking out any big threats way easier since it has a low cooldown of only 15 seconds, and despite it only triggering with a 10% chance, you can easily apply it to both of your weapons when fighting any elite, specials, or monstrosities. And to top it off, whenever we push out a bubble for our team, we activate Kinetic Resonance. This allows us to charge up our Brain Rupture 75% faster and generate 50% less peril for 10 seconds. This can come in so clutch when packs of crushers are facing all of our teammates, or whenever a room full of ranged specials start raining gunfire down. Just charge Brain Rupture with your free aim and pop anything that moves. If you watch the video playing in the background to the end, you'll see me constantly use this to help everyone and myself. Things can get really scary when packs of enemies start coming out of nowhere, but this has saved me so much in most of my games that I rarely worry anymore. To assist further with elite and special hunting, I'm also taking Empowered Psionics. This ensures that my Brain Rupture will have less cast time, no peril generation, and more damage with each charge gained. Bio Lodestone will increase our chances of gaining a charge from 7.5 to 12.5% on any of the kills that we make, and with charged up we can now hold on to 3 stacks at once. This will be incredibly useful during most of our matches since we can rely on this to get stacks very quickly thanks to our staff. Speaking of using our staff, generating peril is going to be very easy as we'll be juggling between charged and standard uses. To help assist our flow of peril, Battle Meditation has a 10% chance to quell 10% of our peril on kill. Again, this procs more times than I can count since the staff is incredible at taking out most of the horde, allowing us to quell less manually and apply more heat on our enemies. While we get kills with our staff, we can also bump up our damage each time we make a critical hit with perfect timing. This bumps up our warp damage by 3% for 10 seconds and it can stack up to 5 times. We can also see a nice damage flow whenever we enter critical peril with warp rider. This quickly increases our damage up to 20% depending on our peril state. And this obviously works as an overall damage increase, so your melee option will benefit from this as well. With that being said, Lightning Speed also grants us an additional 10% melee attack speed, making our heavy hits connect much faster when we're fighting up close and personal. Next up, let's talk about Empathic Evasion. This talent works really well with our high crit chance, as every critical hit we make will also count as a dodge whenever we're faced against ranged attacks. This allows our flames to keep roaring at our enemy with little to no worries about stopping mid-attack. Now since we're relying heavily on Soul Blaze here to apply damage over time, I also took Perilous Combustion. This applies 3 stacks of Soul Blaze to any nearby enemy whenever we kill an elite or specialist enemy. And to amp this up, I also took Wildfire. This works incredibly well with our staff as it also applies Soul Blaze. With this, whenever an enemy dies from Soul Blaze, other nearby enemies suddenly gain up to 4 stacks of Soul Blaze. While they can't gain any more stacks than the dying enemy, you can still apply more with the staff. Now, for some support for the team and ourselves, I have Seer's Presence for the 10% cooldown reduction for everyone in Coherency, and to throw more gas on that fire, I also have Psychonetics Aura. This will decrease everyone's ability cooldown by 5% whenever an elite or specialist is killed within Coherency of me. And with all those talents aside, we gain some much needed boosts on the way down, those being critical hit chance, health, peril resistance, toughness, and toughness damage reduction. While my Warp Flame Prince build has been put to rest, his Blazing Spirit lives on within the Sire of Pyre. I absolutely love the new blessings that we got for both of these weapons here, as it complements this build synergy greatly, and it makes my life a whole lot easier, and my teammates too. All you need to do is stay focused on your team and protect them whenever you're entering big rooms. Connect yourself to a strong ally, and reap the souls from any heretic who dares make their presence known to you. Remember to stagger whenever you're challenged by any maniacs, and keep the flames hot on any fodder. I really hope my Psych Remains out there can enjoy this one. Again, as always, thank you for watching, and be sure to stay tuned as my Zella build will be out next weekend for everyone else. But until then, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Continue being kind to each other, and enjoy the rest of this crazy match. See you soon.
Much. Dreams are a form of escape. 
But for you, there is only the grinding horror of your waking life. Oh, that's the bullet gun! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 